This week he has videotaped me driving, he has waved at random people, and they've waved at me, and I thought they were waving at me, but they were waving at him. He's videotaped me trying to get fish off a hook and screaming about it. It's, it's highly humiliating. Okay, so you get your hands in here and you mix all your flour. Oh, this feels better already. Okay. So, once you get all this friggin' flour, friggin' friggin' flour, did you hear that, Tubes? Friggin'. Flour. You mix this all in. See, maybe it's the Crisco that makes a difference. I don't know, but anyway. My brother picked this out himself. Yes, he did. He went and he picked out the shortening by himself. Okay, so once you get this friggin' stuff, you kind of clean up your friggin' spot. When you realize you don't have any more friggin' spots because your kitchen's friggin' full of friggin' 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 things. Okay, so then you get your flour out again. Dump some on your friggin' whatever this is you made and you don't even know what the friggin' is anymore because you're so friggin' fed up with dough not turning out. Spread some of that. Now doesn't this look better this time, Tubes? Look at that. It's smooth. It's staying together. Okay, so you kind of take it down here and you, oh, you get the little bits that didn't come out. Okay, so you kind of mash it all together. You could give me another amazing fact if you have one. Okay. All right, once you get that done, you kind of break it in half. This should make two pie crust tubes. Tubes. Okay. So, you mash it down. Do you want another pumpkin fact? Yeah, sure, give me another pumpkin fact. My hair is not pumpkin red, orange, whatever color a pumpkin is. You'll have to give me one. Okay, so, you roll it out, tubes. Look at that. Look at that. Friggin' awesome. Friggin' awesome. Highly humiliating. Okay. All right. Roll at your dough. I just keep turning mine around and around over all over the place, all over the yeah. Okay. And you don't cook this first tubes. You put it in at the same time your whatever it is you're making goes in the oven. Your pie. This is supposed to be round. I don't know friggin' why it's coming out square, but at any rate. It's, it would be better if it, oh now look at that, look at that, friggin' heck. Okay, and it's thin here, it should really be in the friggin' fridge, but since I don't feel like it, we're gonna just have to do it this way. Okay, now, I don't know if this is friggin' well gonna fit my, this is what I do, flip it in half, flip it into a quarter, get your friggin' pie plate, Okay, then you just kind of drape it in your friggin' pie plate like so. Oh, oh. Cooperate with me! Okay, so you kind of drape it over and then you're just gonna friggin' have to deal with the mess that you made and screwed up. So then you just take some pieces off the other piece and you just slap them on here. And you press them down. Nobody's gonna care about that bit. It's on the bottom. Okay. So there you go, tubes. You got basically, well, I screwed this part up here. I screwed this up, tubes. But hey, nobody's perfect. Okay, we can patch it up with this chunk here in a minute. Okay, now we just patch that piece up with that and then nobody will even notice. Besides which, it'll look much worse when it's finished being eaten anyway. That's something my brother would say, wouldn't he? Okay, tubes. Now, get it all pressed out in your friggin' pie plate. This is a nine inch pie plate. It's glass, Pyrex, awesome. Okay, you take your friggin' pumpkin stuff here, which has been sitting on the counter for so long it's growing a skin. <laughs> I would not lick this. Bill would lick it. I will not. So you're going to pour some
in your whoo in your friggin pie plate I'm not pouring all this in because I gotta oh maybe it will all go in well let's see I was gonna make two pies but now I think this might all go in one so you see that tubes you just get all this I think it's all gonna fit in one that's friggin cool that's friggin awesome that's friggin awesome that's ingenious I can now make an apple crust with a pie crust on the bottom because I have an extra one left over. All right, so flatten that out, tubes. Okay, now you're supposed to make the top of your pie look all pretty, but since I frigged it up, we can't really, really do too much here. So we're just going to fold the edges over, and I will try and flute them in a minute. That's called fluting. Fluting is when you make the edge all fancy schmancy and people say, oh my gosh, that's amazing. How did you freaking do that? Okay, so you just kind of pinch it around a bit and then people can think you're so amazingly, stunningly good and, and impressive and, but, yeah, okay. So you just, and then I can't do these bits here, so I'll give that part to my brother. This will be Bill's part right here because I can't friggin' flute it. Flute and frig it. Alright. Okay, tubes. It's not too smooth at the top, but I think I'll just smooth it out a bit. It'll smooth itself out. Now, if you're friggin' smart, if you're friggin' smart, you'll put it on a cookie sheet. This is a cookie sheet. This is a cookie sheet, okay? You're going to friggin' put your pie on the friggin' cookie sheet, like that. Uh, you want to make sure there's no friggin' pie crust stuck to the end of your bowl, or the bottom of your thing. Okay, so you put that in there. Your oven's preheated to 425 degrees. Open the oven. Ooh, that's friggin' hot. Almost melted my friggin' buns. Okay, open the friggin' oven door. Put your head back. I always put my head right in the oven. This time I did not do that. And you're going to pop that in the oven for friggin' 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Set your timer so you don't go and have a bath and come out and your house is burning down. And then you just wait and then you cook it at 375 for 45 friggin' minutes longer. Do we have any more amazing friggin' facts? Oh, frig. Here's how you spell the word frig. F-R-I-G. There's your word, world's most amazing fact. Alright, tubes. It's time to take pie, a friggin' pie out of the oven, eh? Okay, you usually have oven mitts, obviously. Now, Bill probably wouldn't use oven mitts. So, we're going to, except I can't find my other friggin' mitt. There it is, tubes. Look at that, eh? I've got two oven mitts. Now, very carefully, you must remember to turn off your oven because you don't want that friggin' on all night taking up all your energy. Okay, so when you open the oven, make sure you stand back. Keep your face out of it because, man, I just about friggin' singed off my eyebrows, eh? Holy crap, eh? Look at this pie. Mmm. Yummy. Don't drop the friggin' camera in it. Bill would have a cow. And there you go. It's pie making with Ellen. Success after the first friggin' mishap, which totally just blew up in my face, to absolute perfection. And I might even let Bill have a piece of this.